My roommate's ex ex girlfriend came back. We got the cat out. We got the cat the out. cat's arrived? He went in there and got her. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. So despite the inappropriate orders that I was getting from that first cop, access to this access to this scene has been pretty good. However, this is roughly the 90 minute mark after the fire happened, I believe. I could see it on the way in, but I couldn't tell if it was the kind of fire that you could be considered newsworthy in New Hampshire. I guess technically it's not, except for the fact that apparently the person I interviewed had that this was his house. Colorado Springs and surrounding areas, I bet they probably have a pretty cracked fire department because it's so dry, you know, after the 2012 fires that burned down 300 uh, houses in the city at no fault of the fire department. And uh, they had another fire of about similar size very near to here, I think in 2013. I'm sorry. On tape and on time. Oh, yeah. So it, it counts for my wearability. I'm uh, standing here with, with Hank again. Uh, who, I mean, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. It's while I'm interviewing someone, their house burns down in a different location. Uh, but what exactly happened? Uh, my roommate's ex, ex girlfriend came back. Yeah. We got the cat out. We got the cat the out. cat's arrived? Her. This is Sunny. She lives nice. in the very Sorry, but that's interesting. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is Sunny. She lives in the very top apartment. Okay. That's a start. That's good. Something good happened. Uh, but yeah. What happened? Uh, from what I'm told, uh, my friend, my roommate's ex-wife or ex-girlfriend came back from Arkansas and was disgruntled and uh, went in and set the house on fire. Okay. And uh, this happened about two hours ago. I mean, whatever time your camera says. Well, I guess, I mean, you, did, I it, happen, did it happen it before we were talking? Because I saw a fire when I was coming in, and I saw another incident where there was a, a bunch of water being sprayed in this area. Yeah, I think that was why. That we were, was well before we talked. Well, no, we were talking about uh, we were talking about the flag being burned. And you said, well, they're spraying water over there. Okay. Okay. Remember? Yeah, I think they were spraying water before I said they were spraying yeah. water, though, if that makes sense. It had been, a ha it had been 45 minutes I earlier. seen the fire truck come up here, and I just figured it was somebody fender bender or somebody hiking got hurt, you know what I mean? Fire yeah. trucks and ambulance goes by 10 times a day. Right, know? I heard them go by, too. Yeah. I didn't get even get it. Well, I, get, I actually did get video of it, now you mention it. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm real sorry. This... It just, well, and it's not just me, dude. There's five different apartments in that one house. So that's five sets of people right. with five sets of problems. And, yeah. And, I mean, and she could have really hurt somebody. Uh, you know, the whole damn neighborhood could have went up. She could have burnt the whole damn town down. Yeah. You know, I mean, if they wouldn't have got on it when well, they it did. Well, it is Colorado Springs. All right. Yeah. But thank God for the fire department. And thank God nobody got hurt. You know, uh, her materialistic things can be replaced. Uh, nobody got hurt. We lost our lizard. I had a Nile, Nile monitor lizard. I'm sure he didn't make it out. So. Yeah. <sighs> now I got to start all over. But we'll figure yeah, it out. At least you got a cat to do it with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, Hank. Yep. It's nice meeting you, man. Good to meet you too. Y'all have a good time. Not under these circumstances, though. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it'll be better next time. Yeah. All right. Take care. Manatee Springs had a massive flood. Uh, I guess it would have been 2013. Uh, that went uh, probably right through here. It destroyed many of my, you know, boyhood haunts. Or at least one of them, the uh, vintage arcades. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. 
They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.